A 13 WMAZ viewer reached out asking us to verify whether the handicapped placard that hangs in the windshield belongs to the vehicle or the person. Can you receive a ticket if you park in these spots without being disabled? Brianna Richardson verifies. Her sources are Mark Kushinka, the Houston County Tax Commissioner, and Randy Evans with the Traffic Division at Warner Robins Police. I'd just like to see people start being more aware and, and uh, be more respectful to the handicapped. Jody Verville is a disabled veteran. He says it's disappointing when he sees people parking in handicapped spots who shouldn't be. It's all I can do to walk from one of those handicapped spots to get in the door to get on one of those electric scooters. And if there's not one in there, I have to go get in the car and go back home. I cannot walk in the store no more. So does the handicapped placard belong to the vehicle? According to Houston County Tax Commissioner Mark Kushinka, the answer is no. The disabled person should be present when it's in use. Belongs to the person. The vehicle, you can get one if you have like husband and wife and only one of them is disabled. They can get a tag put on there. But the car is only supposed to be parked in that spot when that person is in the car. Randy Evans with Warner Robins Police Department says they get calls from time to time about people violating handicapped parking. In Georgia law, for such offense of parking in a designated handicapped parking space absent of a tag or a placard, and they can be issued a citation and upon either appearance in court or if the individual elects not to go to court, there can be fines that are levied against them for that violation. Here's a look at the form that must be filled out to receive a placard or license plate. Kushinka says your doctor determines if you qualify for a temporary or permanent one. The form is completed, you bring it back to us. And then from there, we process it. We print you a placard, which is free. And if you want a tag, it's just a regular price for a normal tag. And Evan says treat others the way you want to be treated. Continue to be courteous and, and leave the spaces for people that actually need them. So, we can verify no, a handicapped placard does not belong to the vehicle. In making Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News. For more information on how to apply for a handicapped placard or license plate, just look for this story on 13WMAZ.com.